what's going on everyone welcome back to another video I'm gonna be taking you on a thrift run with me I'll show you every single item that I pick up I'll explain why I pick those items up so you can kind of get an idea because some brands you just don't pick up everything for but first before I get into that what do you all think of my light back here that's a new fixture I found at Goodwill this past week being a huge Razorback fan I thought why not let's get it put it up in the office and see how it looks I think it looks pretty great this video is sponsored by Vendu Vendu is a cross posting site that allows you to get all of your listings, your inventory up onto multiple platforms so that you can make sales faster. I started using Vendu several months ago and have not been disappointed at all. The first night I started, I made three sales on other sites that I wasn't even on before that time. If you are interested in checking out Vendu, it's super simple and intuitive to use. And you can click the link in this video to get started on your own trial to see how easy it is. So let's go ahead and go to the footage now of my thrift run. And because this footage was recorded about three weeks ago, I can actually show you the stuff that's already sold. All right, well, let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's go now. All right, headed into this Helping Hands store in Bentonville, Arkansas to show you every item that I pick up today. Starting off with this FootJoy Golf Polo. FootJoy is a great brand. Medium isn't as great a size, but it'll still sell for $20 or $25. And there's the logo on the back of the shirt. You usually find that there on the back. Next up was this Polo Ralph Lauren sweater, fourth zip. It was only four bucks, and this isn't one that gets me too excited, but it's an item that will eventually sell for around 20 to 25 as well. This is a brand that I don't find that often, but I love that tag. That's a vintage territory ahead tag. And although I don't see it that often, I usually pick it up when I see that tag right there. But when I looked at it, it had some stains on the bottom and on the front near the buttons. And so I left it. Glad I found it here and not at home. These next two items were wool rich button down shirts, brand new with tags. They were $10 a piece and I didn't hesitate to go ahead and get them. I should have looked up comps in the store. I wish I had. They don't go for as much as I thought. I really thought I'd get 30 to 35 plus shipping. We'll see if they sell for that, but right now I don't think I'll lose money. I'd probably redo this decision right here if I could. This next brand is a great brand, usually in the like the button down shirts and the polos. This was a women's jacket actually in the men's section. It's Southern Tide and there's the logo on the front that you already saw. I haven't really found women's clothing because I don't usually shop for women's, but this is a jacket I think I'll get 25 to 30 plus shipping. Here's a brand I love right now. This is a hot brand, Duluth Trading Co. is an outdoor brand. And this was a pair of larger size jeans. I think the waist on these were, yeah, 46 by 30. And $6, honestly, didn't have to think twice on that. Those will go for about 35. And then right next to them, another pair. Same size, same style of jeans, six bucks double score there. This next item I noticed because of the pattern, this corduroy that's in right now in this colder season. These were Joseph A. Bank corduroy pants. And although I don't usually pick up Joseph A. Bank, I definitely pick these up for the style. This next item was a Polo Ralph Lauren women's like really cool pattern cable knit sweater. It got the pony on the front, which obviously Polo Ralph Lauren usually does pretty well. $6.00. And I'm checking it over just to make sure there's no like holes or stains or anything with a sweater. Next up, I saw this pattern and I thought it was looked pretty cool. I thought it could be like a rain spooner, but under closer examination, there's no tag. So I went ahead and put it back. Polo Ralph Lauren, especially if you can find these nice crisp dress shirts. Blue is a great color, stripes, and that's like a 2XL in size. So... Um, that wasn't a hard decision there and right next to it were two more Polo Ralph Lauren Regent shirts same size probably donated by the same person again picking these up not a hard decision those usually go for around $25 plus shipping with this next item I'm really hesitant with Eddie Bauer but these outdoor shirts like heavier cotton shirts usually do really well in colder seasons This is a brand I absolutely love. Carbon to Cobalt, very rare brand that sells fast. Great pattern on this. This was actually the first item to sell for me in this batch. Here's an item that I'm sure many of us aren't strangers to, Orvis Fishing. Orvis is like a higher-end fishing brand. This is more of a casual shirt, and by the looks of it, I thought it was linen. 
And so you can see me looking to see the fabric. And though it's not linen, it's like a hemp tensel, it still is an item that I'm gonna pick up. This next item, LL Bean, is a decent brand. I did sell this to an international buyer and I probably um, wouldn't pick this one up again for eight bucks, but hey, it did sell and I didn't lose money. Next up was another item from Orvis and I got really excited about this because it was a wool sweater and under further inspection of this item, notice that there was a big hole on the front. So I had to put it back, that was a bummer, but could have been a great item to pick up. Another Ralph Lauren, but this is a really colorful shirt. And I found that these colorful shirts with like the, the pastels or just the different colors do better than some of the other ones. This item I actually sold and it got returned. So I'm confident it'll sell again. But whenever I see that Macy's men's store on the inside, I, I always think it's a certain brand. Lauren Ralph Lauren wasn't, isn't a bad brand, but uh, corduroy blazers like the Joseph A. Bank pants are in right now and confidently can get 35 to 40 plus shipping on this guy. Paid 10 bucks, a little steep, but not bad. These last few items were on this bag, in this bag section on the bag rack. And uh, I don't have a lot of experience picking up camera bags, but I did look this one up and it should go for around 25 to 30 plus shipping. It's a little dirty on the front there, but I'm checking it over just to make sure everything works and there's no major flaws or holes on this DSLR carry bag. Five bucks, not too expensive to pick up for like a Canon bag and that's a good brand. This was a unique piece and my last piece to pick up at this store. This 2012 All-Star, MLB All-Star like canvas uh, weekend duffel bag. This was a great piece and I'm looking in to see that, make sure the strap is in there. And so when I got home, I listed it. There was one seller selling this for 35 plus shipping and mine sold full price. So as I'm headed to the checkout, I noticed this awesome piece right here, this big sh wooden ship. 25 bucks, that's a little steep. I thought about just getting it for my office, but uh, I decided to put it back. I was looking at the brand to see if it was worth anything, but I don't think, honestly, it was to pay $25 for that. All right, just walking out of there, uh, $128 spent, and got some good stuff. Not sure if you can see it, but um, got really good stuff. All right, so there you have it. Those are the 20 items that I picked up on that particular day at that store, Helping Hands in Bentonville, Arkansas. So on the total of 20 items, I spent $128 for those 20 items on that day at that store. So you already got an idea of those items that sold and what they sold for individually, but collectively those nine items sold for a total of $315, including shipping. I've already kind of subtracted out all my fees to figure out what my profit was. My profit on those nine items was $157.99. The only thing that I didn't calculate just because it would take a lot of time is if an item sold promoted listing, I didn't subtract out the promoted listing fee. Let's just assume that those nine items, probably five to six of those sold promoted listing for a total of like 15 to 20 bucks, I'm still sitting around that 140 profit range. So not bad for nine of the 20 items that have already sold at one store and less than an hour of time. Now I went ahead and added up the items that I have remaining to see how much am I projecting to get based on history of sales in the past on similar items. And for those last 11 items, I'm projecting about $365 total. So if we add what I've already sold, the 315, to what I'm projecting, 365, that gives us a total of $680 total on $128 spent. Finding 20 items is about average for what I usually get at stores around here. And when you consider that I do four to seven stores in one day thrifting, it really starts to add up when I get home, get it all listed, and then things start to sell. So I hope you like this like thrift slash flip video that I did today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you'd like to have more videos like this, click that subscribe button and they'll start popping in your feed. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have a great week reselling. And if you have questions on my reselling business, maybe things that you saw or just questions in general, leave those in the comments below and I'll get to those as quickly as I can. Thanks so much guys. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you later. Bye. <music>